story down at Tom McCall Waterfront Park where on a beautiful day like today you'll see joggers, skateboarders, cyclists. We even see a boat with a person in it drumming today. All sorts of people down here. So glad you're with us. I'm Ken Ackerman. You're watching Comcast Newsmakers. Well, right here, what you see used to be an old lumber mill. It used to be the city's steam plant. And speaking of old buildings, one local organization is doing its part to preserve the Portland metro area's historic buildings. Please welcome Kathy Galbraith, and she is with the Ex uh, Architectural Heritage Center, but there's a longer name that I didn't get into. That's right, Ken. Our organization is the Bosco Milligan Foundation, and we own and operate the Architectural Heritage Center. That's our home base of operations. And what you do is you try to preserve Portland's past, but not only the buildings, but what's inside the buildings as well, right? Exactly. For us, it's not just a matter of architecture. It's also about the history and the many stories that any building can tell us if we just pay a little bit of attention to it. What would, this used to be Harbor Way, a four lane road that separated the river and the city. What would you have seen here many, many years ago? Well, Harbor Drive plowed through really one of the earliest parts of the city um, and was lined with cast iron buildings and someone saw an early transportation project opportunity, built Harbor Drive, tore down hundreds of cast iron buildings and Somewhere along the way, the city came to its senses, and we took out Harbor Drive, and we built Front Avenue, which is now NATO Parkway, and we established Waterfront Park. So we went one to one extreme to another extreme, which is a better one. Which is a much better one, and we were talking earlier, and I mentioned, you know, I really like the architectural, uh, the way the Albers Mill building looks, and that's pretty much the same way it looked when it was built, right? Exactly. It's one of, I think, one of Portland's earliest and best examples of adaptive reuse, where you take a commercial or an industrial building and preserve its character-defining features, as we say in my business, and uh, you update it, you maintain its utility, and you use it for any number of uses that are there today. It's a great project. I was asking you, I said, hopefully this Heritage Center isn't in a newer building. Oh, absolutely not. We are located in the historic West Block building. We're at 701 Southeast Grand Avenue. It's the oldest commercial building in Portland's central east side. Nathaniel K. West was an early mayor of East Portland. He was one of the fathers of the first crossing of the Willamette River. And uh, he ran a dry goods store on the first floor of our building. And then he and his family lived upstairs. What year would that have been built? It was built in 1883. So are there any older buildings than 1883 or is that where pretty much... Not we're... over in the east side. You get downtown, you get into Old Town, you get to, for example, the Halleck and McMillan building, which is about to be fully restored by its proud new owner, John Russell, 1857. 1857. And doesn't that just warm your heart that the, the, the city recognizes and realizes that you really do need to keep your cultural heritage alive? Well, what's so important about any city is making sure that we protect what's special about it. Otherwise, every city becomes very much the same. We've got lots of franchises, we've got lots of businesses that are have, have local locations, but they're all over the country. And sometimes you can parachute into any particular new area in any city and feel like you have no idea where you are. So protecting what really defines Portland's character and defines its skyline and really contributes to the character of the city and its quality of life. We think that's the most important contribution that historic preservation makes. What are your favorite buildings? I always have to think about the history. It's never just architecture for me. So if I think about downtown Portland, for example, I think the original U.S. National Bank building that looks very much like a Greek temple. Mm -hmm. That was uh, one of uh, Albert E. Doyle, the architect's masterpieces. If I go a little into Northwest, I think Union Station has just thousands of stories to tell. Right. The travelers, people moving back and forth across the country, the African American men who worked on the railroads and hauled luggage down there, the big go by train mm -hmm. sign. Right. Um, it's a real landmark that everybody recognizes. I want to mention your annual auction is October 15th. For more information, we'll have your website on here. But Kathy, thanks so much for joining us and sharing with us. And we want to thank you for being here as well. I'm Ken Ackerman. Make it a great day.